they think I had an excess of fluid and that is what caused this, this rupture to happen. Hello everyone. If you hear any weird sounds in the background, my baby's just moving. I'm not farting. So um, I did a, an update on Instagram and also in the community tab on YouTube, but for anyone that didn't see that, I did want to um, update here as well. So basically some pretty good news. Um, I did rupture, prematurely rupture my membranes, but they think that um, that the leak is high, like the leak is up towards the top of my uterus, so that would be like a, a perfect place for that to happen, and it is a, considered a slow leak. Um, I did have those few gushes, like four to six gushes at the house, but I didn't have a gush like that afterwards, it just sort of trickled out. And um, yesterday evening was the last time I felt any leaking. So, excuse me. So we do think that the leaking is kind of stopping. Not sure if it's resealing, um, but pretty much the hypothesis is because his, his fluid index is 22, at least it was yesterday. We'll, we'll probably check that again today. But over 20 is considered uh, polyhydramnios. Is that how you pronounce that? Um, and so they think I had an excess of fluid, and that is what caused this this rupture to happen. By the way, I will never again not have a hospital bag ready after 20 weeks. Uh, now that I know that this is possible, um, so basically what I was thinking is this kind of makes sense now my belly just suddenly getting really big and feeling very hard um, the excessive weight gain that my doctor saw and um, I told him that I felt like it was just in my belly and he's like oh well it can't just be in your belly like and then told me how to you know watch my weight and everything but you know in retrospect I'm kind of viewing all of that as like the belly getting bigger, the the excessive amount of weight that I gained in, in four weeks, and uh, feeling like I was having third trimester symptoms of like my guts being shoved up into my ribs. I feel like all of that was like signs that that I had too much fluid. So yeah, it was funny my OB came in uh, the other morning and we both had this look on our face like, can we catch a break here? <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, but the plan is to keep me here until I am term and able to be induced safely. I did see the resident MD this morning and she said that uh, Kieran's heart rate has been fantastic for the entire time that he's been monitored since Thursday night. So he seems to be totally unaware, blissfully unaware that anything's awry. Um, he's tolerating the meds great. Um, and my labor stopped. I had contractions all Thursday night, but by Friday afternoon they said, okay, you don't even need to be on the monitor. We can take you off the Indocin. Um, you're just, you're not contracting anymore. So thankful for that. But they are asking me every time they come in, do you have any cramps? Do you have any, you know, signs of um, labor coming on or anything? So I don't have anything like that, so that's good. The uh, resident MD was telling me that it, it looks promising because it has been almost three days now. And usually you would go into labor in that three days, but they do want to continue for an additional seven days just to make sure that um, that we're stopping anything before it starts. But she seemed pretty um, confident that that I will stay pregnant and that and that I'll be able to deliver when he's term, and uh, 
and all we really have to watch for is infection at this point. Cameron and I did ask them, is there a possibility that it could reseal and then maybe I can go home and have sort of an outpatient thing and, and maybe just be on bed rest at home? And they said that the risk of infection would be too high and the only way they would know that it's resealed is if they were to inject my womb with a blue dye and then have me wear a tampon for several hours and then take it out and see if there's like no blue dye on the tampon. But then they said that injecting it could cause a premature rupture of membranes again. So it's like risk. So I was like, you know, I don't, I don't think I want to do that. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to do that. I feel so much more relaxed now because of just how well I've responded to treatment and how well Kieran's taking everything. And, uh, you know, just the MD saying, like, your son's a really happy baby. Like, he's, he's, he's real happy. He can hear him moving around. Uh, she's like, he's real happy in there. So we're, we're content that he's content. So I just feel so relieved. I'm so glad we're here. I feel safe here. Um, that's pretty much it. That, that's kind of the update thus far. So I think I'm going to be allowed to take a shower tomorrow morning or this evening or something. I, I know they wanted me to be completely off my feet for the first three days. And then after a week, I can, uh, I can start to move around a little bit in the room a little bit more. And then something that, that I would really look forward to is because the nurse was telling me about another patient who's been here for several weeks and how she hasn't leaked fluid for a few weeks. So she gets little passes to go out like to dinner or something with her husband or she can go get coffee at the coffee shop around the corner. As long as she's not, you know, like running around at the mall or something, she can go out and then, you know, do something like grab dinner and then come back. So it would be nice <laughs> to eventually be able to go, go out with Cameron or something. Cause uh, I mean, the view's not bad. It's just not, you know, outside. By the way, they said that I am allowed to bring whatever I want to make my stay comfortable. So, this ledge here, it's pretty big. I was thinking maybe a sewing machine, a Keurig machine. What do y'all think? As delicious as the coffee at the hospital is. I would be much happier with my own. Well, I think I I think I covered everything that I wanted to say. Um, basically, the short version of it is that we're doing great, and we're safe, and we're in a really safe place. And uh, that's the update. Uh, Cameron wanted to do the nursery tour for you guys though. He's uh, doing a little vlog takeover here. He just put up the shelves, the bookshelves for Kieran and we we're gonna do that actually today so that we could uh, that we could um, post our nursery name reveal on Sunday and then uh, you know obviously plans changed but uh, yeah he filmed a little takeover so I'm gonna send you to that right now. Hello everyone! So as you know, Steph's in the hospital due to her water breaking. Um, she's doing good, so that's awesome. But we really wanted to show y'all the nursery and everything that we were going to reveal this weekend. And uh, we're going to take a little tour with me. Ta-da! So this is the from the door coming in. Just kind of the everything. Here's a little dresser. Um, I mean, she already sent a lot of pictures already, so yeah. This is his sign that we got for the name reveal and for him. It sits over his crib. This is a little sleep sack that uh, Steph made. And again, very woodland creature uh, theme with the fox. You got the little raccoon in the back. Here's a little hamper, so very cute. Oh, and then here's our little camera to watch him. Then we got his changing table. So Steph went and bought this. 
Um, these pictures from an artist, I believe. So that's really cool. Um, and then here's his little changing table um, with all his little supplies at the bottom. It's really cool. We got this lamp because this room doesn't have a light. So this is nice, nice glow. And then there's a diaper hamper <laughs> and the little, uh, I forget what it's called, but the little pillow that goes on your lap to hold the baby. And here is the wonderful little seat that uh, Steph went and she bought or, or that we got because uh, Steph really loved it. And she actually, here's a little footstool that she upholstered, pretty sure some of y'all know which I believe is the same material as the um, sleep sack that she made. And then of course she has her little coffee table because she's, she's addicted. So there you go. And then these are the bookshelves that I just put up because uh, that's what we were honestly waiting for, for her to do this before the everything happened. So you got a bunch of Dr. Seuss books, you know, Peter Rabbit, a lot of stuff that, you know, we kind of grew up with. And then this is kind of his toy bin. Um, so it has all these little crinkle toys, some of her them she made, a lot of them from y'all. So thank y'all so much. Actually, a lot of stuff in here is from y'all. So thank y'all so much. Um, but you can kind of see um, these, these little guys. These guys came from Poland, so that's pretty cool. Um, very much fox themed, you know. It's going to be his little spirit animal. <laughs> And then uh, just a bunch of blankets and stuff. And then we have his leg dresser. This is the little cloud that like lights up some little night light. Some wooden toys. Here's a little brush for him. Then a little, another little fox with a blanket. My mom sent over this little music, this little music box that you turn the crank and it uh, plays. And then I forget where Steph got this. She, she'll probably tell you, but she she was really excited about that. And then of course it's just, she she actually changed out these knobs to these ones. She didn't like the other ones. So, and that's pretty much it. I know I do not have the stylistic shots like she does, but um, I hope you all enjoyed the little reveal. Um, and then Steph will probably take over from the vlog. And yeah, weird. thank you so much for everyone that has sent us everything for Steph's nursery. Um, we were really surprised about that and that was really cool. I'm so thankful of everything that you guys have done. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this and uh, as we continue our journey. I mean, I think you did a pretty good job filming the nursery. You did a pretty good job. Um, there were a few things like, like I didn't buy the glider. Uh, Kara got that, but he isn't, he's not like super aware of who all got us what, you know what I mean? I really, I'm gonna find a way, y'all. I'm gonna find a way to nest in here while sitting in bed. I will find a way. Any suggestions? <laughs> Cause I, I just have that, like now that I'm everything's calm and, and all, you know, fine. I just, I'm right back to that feeling of like, I gotta get stuff ready for the baby, even though everything's ready, you know what I mean? It's so weird, like, how did I, how did this come on so strong? I, I had this feeling of like, everything has to be done right now. Now, 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 you know what I mean? And then this happens. It's such a weird, like, was that an intuition thing? I don't know. Well, I think um, that's going to be it for this vlog. We sincerely thank you so much for all your words of encouragement your um your stories of success with um p p r o m do you say p prom or p p rom <laughs> p p r o m um i've just been calling it p prom don't even know but yeah it's been very encouraging and um thank you for your prayers your your thoughts and um the good energy and in all your stories and it has really helped make this situation a lot easier. I know I sort of ghosted after I posted. Yeah, that rhymed. Um, but I just, there's a lot going on. I'm sure you understand. 
but again thank you so much for watching and supporting us and loving us and we love you so much and we will see you in the next one sorry if it's gonna be boring me hospital vlogging all right